Alongside the more well-known data pads, Halo Reach features another series of easter eggs known as the Radio Conversations. On most of the multiplayer and firefight maps for Halo Reach are radios. These radios play conversations between characters, some of which are linked together as part of a larger narrative. This guide will show you where to find these radios and at the very end, we'll play the audio. Starting things off will be the radio conversation that, when brought together, tell the story of the Spartan 2 team Beta Red, a part of the 22 Spartan Red team that was sent to reach under the leadership of Fred 104. Beta Red was assigned to defend Orbital Defense Generator A331 from Covenant Forces. The first radio is found on the multiplayer map Breakout. Head into the research station, hang a hard left, and by the control panels will be the radio. The second is found on the multiplayer map Spire. From the back of the map where the Spartans would spawn in Invasion, head up the mountain road on the right, and the radio will be on this concrete slab, near where a generator would be in Invasion. The third is on the multiplayer map Powerhouse. In the one level building in the back of the map, the radio sits on a kitchen counter. The fourth is on the multiplayer map Countdown, in the southeast corner on the third floor. The fifth is on the multiplayer map Boardwalk. On the bottom level in the Boardwalk area, head to the northeast corner of the map looking out on the city to find the radio. The sixth is on the multiplayer map Reflection. From the first floor by the elevator, go to the right hallway, then left into the back room with the vending machines. The radio will be on the floor. The seventh is Unique, located in the campaign during the level Long Night of Solace. Random radio conversations will play during the assault on Anchor 9. People were able to figure out the correct order of the conversations. Special thanks to CIA 391 of Halopedia for providing the audio you'll hear later and explaining to me how to find this audio. The eighth and final radio for this story is on the multiplayer map Boneyard. From the area labeled as Junkyard, head into the shack in the northwest corner of the map. The radio is on the western wall. And that covers Red Team's story. Next we have two conversations between two people talking about Dr. Halsey and her clandestine work. The first can be found on the firefight map Glacier. From the Spartan spawn point, head around to the back of the lab, by the back entrance. The radio is there. You can also head straight through the lab to find it. The second is on the firefight map Outpost. From the outpost between the two AA turrets, look to the left to see a small prefab building. Inside on a crate is the radio. And from there we have a series of radio conversations none connected to each other. First up is the multiplayer map Anchor 9. The radio is located on the first floor in a yellow tinted room on the east side of the map. The next radio is on the firefight map Beachhead. This radio is found in the same room where you'd activate the anti-air guns in the level Exodus. It's on the back wall as soon as you enter the room. After that we have a second radio on the multiplayer map Breakout. This one is located in a building on the opposite side of the map from the previous radio. Just follow the path shown in the video, hang a right on the way in, and you'll find the radio. Next is a radio on the firefight map Courtyard. This one is found right next to the Covenant spawn point in Firefight Versus, at the bottom of the slope called the Bend, where you'd exit Sword Base in the campaign. After that we have Highlands. There is radio chatter coming from the destroyed pelican in the center of the map, but it's impossible to make out. Maybe people can extract the raw audio now that the game is on PC. Then we have a radio on the firefight map Holdout. In the central yellow building where Spartans spawn, on the main level in the back of the room is the radio. Next we have the firefight map Overlook. The radio is located in the main building where Spartans spawn, in the area called Barn High, next to two blue water barrels. After that we have the multiplayer map, Tempest. The radio is located under the crashed longsword on the beach. And finally we have the firefight map, Waterfront. The radio is right by where elites spawn in Firefight Versus, at the end of the road, appropriately labeled, Road.
That covers the locations, so now let's listen to the conversations. First up is the final stand of Spartan Team Beta Red. Mayday, Mayday, this is Bravo 001. En route to your position. Do you have a visual on my aircraft? Over. Bravo 001, this is Golden Arrow. I do believe you are steering that bird in the wrong direction. Over. Negative. Electronics are fried. I'm flying blind. Just need you to point me in the direction of the LZ. You got it, Bravo 001. Happy to oblige. Link up with Uniform Delta 1015-39090, heading south-southwest. Looks about 100 knots. Advise you head for the treetops and fly straight at Mount Tarot. We got more than enough problems of our own down here. I say again, that's negative, Golden Arrow. I've got high-value assets in tow with strict orders to drop them directly on your location. My bird ain't gonna hold together all the way to the boneyard. Need an LZ clear. Over. With respect, Bravo, unless you got a cart full of tack nukes with my name on it, you don't have anything of value in that bird. Get your ass to back. All right, Golden Arrow. If I can't sit it down, I'll just drop these six Spartans on your head. Out. Damn, Bravo. Why didn't you say so? Come down close to the tree line about two clicks due west of your current position. That's where me and my boys are. Over. I'm gonna need that LZ clear, Golden Arrow. I'll be right on top of you in three mics. Hell, I'm gonna clear you a spot myself, Bravo. Look for the trooper with the big ass grin on his face. Roger that. I'll see you. Out. Gamma 1 Actual, this is Recon 43. We are position over. Recon 43, this is Gamma 1 Actual. Give me a radio check over. Got eyes on three ghosts and 24 infantry. A typical scout detachment. Please advise. Recon 43, do not engage. Sit tight and keep your eyes and ears open. I say again, give me a radio check, over. Gamma 1 Actual, we do not read you. Say again, we do not read you, over. Recon 43, you are not cleared to engage. I say again, you are not cleared to engage. Is there anyone else close to their grid? Damn it. Looks like we're on our own, boys. This is their eyes and ears. We flatten these guys and disengage. Tag your targets and get ready to go loud on my mark. Recon 43, this is Gamma 1 Actual. I say again, you are to stand down and withdraw immediately. Do not engage over. Fire. That's it. Make them count. What do we have that we can send to support them? Damn it. Pull back. Move and shoot. Move and shoot. Where the hell did all these hostiles come from? Tell Beta Romeo Actual that the company we are expecting is going to be arriving a little earlier than we anticipated. I say again, you are not clear to engage. Stow your weapons. We are reading multiple inbound hostiles in your sector. You do not want their attention. Over. Aw, oh, damn. Tip of the spear, nothing. It's the whole godforsaken fleet. Fire! 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 Recon 4-3, check in. Recon 4-3, do you read me? Damn it. Get red team up and running. High alert. We're about to have company. Gamma 1, facility Alpha 412 is overrun, and I'm headed to your location with what's left of Gamma 5, over. Gamma 5? Damn, it's good to hear you. How many are you bringing? I thought BNet said your house got knocked down. Confirm. ODG 412 is slag. Lost all but 14 able bodies. Making our way over in two hogs and a radio van. The more the merrier. Looks like we got makings for a party. Some honest to God Spartans are riding up here with some boys on 3rd Mech as we speak. Hate to break it to you, Gamma 1, but Covey's hit us with two divisions at Alpha 412. How many Spartans you got on approach? Gamma 5C again. That was two divisions? Over? That's affirmative. We put a dent in them, but that's about it. The only reason there ain't one of them on the line with you right now is Highcom decided to drop every available asset right on top of them. And us. Over. Well, I hope you bring an extra ammo then, Gamma 5. All we can carry and then some. ETA, 25 mics. Out. Gamma 1, actual mic team is in position. Get your people ready to move as soon as I give the signal over. With respect, Red, we might not be Spartans, but this is our home. My men will die here if I ask them to. I don't doubt that, Gamma 1, actual. Let's hope we won't need them to. Defensive perimeter online. This is nuts. What in the hell are those honor tourists supposed to do against what they're bringing? Over. Divide their attention. Visual. 32 rates moving with 260 infantry at 200 meters. Closing on our line from due west at 6 kilometers per hour. Beta red. Hold position until I trigger primaries, then close on their front line as fast as you can. Damn it, Red. I heard you Spartans were crazy. Gamma 5, radio check. Over. 5 by 5, Gamma 1 actual. Drone is holding station at 10,000 feet. We got eyes on the whole damn thing. Those Spartans are crazy. They're gonna get us killed. Holy... You ain't gonna believe this. Beta Red just pushed right up into the guts of that cubby column. Ever see a Spartan go hand-to-hand -hand with a wraith? Unbelievable. What are 11 Spartans gonna do against 30,000 Covenants? They're dead men. Can't argue that. 
but those Spartans just fought us in time. We might just make it out of this alive. Get ready to move. Over. That's the signal. Let's get the hell out of here. Unknown station. This is Gamma One Actual. Do you read? Over. Gamma One Actual. This is Iron Fist. We read you. What is the current state of facility Alpha 331? Facility Alpha 331 is overrun and offline. Defense Grid and Zone Uniform Delta is running at starvation levels. If you're taking survivors, we've got a few. Negative Gamma, we are en route to support Beta Red. Any word on their status? None. Over. Acknowledged. There's a temp evac station 50 clicks west along your current vector at Uniform Delta 0089 or 6. 389 or 87. I'll let them know you're coming. I might want to tell them to start pulling up stakes. Beta Red may be tough as hell, but I don't know how long they'll be able to tie up two armored divisions. Say again, Gamma. Over. I said Beta Red may be tough as hell, but... Oh my god! Gamma 1 Actual, we lost you. Say again. Over. Iron Fist, this is Gamma 1 Actual. Three Covenant cruisers just dropped out of the clouds directly above us, holding at approximately 20,000 feet, traveling due east at approximately 300 knots. 300 knots! Visual confirmed. Gamma 1. They just passed within 50 meters of our bird. Go, NOA, and punch it. There's still a chance that we can pull Beta out of there. Wait, you're not planning on heading into that mess, are you? Godspeed, and see you on the other side, Gamma. Out. Alpha 2-0, this is UNSC Majestic, two mics out from window. Once we're on station, you'll have us for all of three zero seconds. Over. Acknowledge, Majestic. Stand by. We are waiting for the go, no-go on the shoot. Uploading telemetry on targets. Telemetry received. On standby. CENTCOM OWA is one mic, three zero seconds out from window. DD with five zero one hundred sixty Charlie Mike. Once on station, we'll have three zero seconds of trigger time. Over. Alpha 2-0, this is CENTCOM. Beta Red is directly in the splash zone. Until we have visual confirmation of their status, we are no go. Over. CENTCOM, those cruisers are burning birds out to 5-0 clicks. Hell, they've hit civvy evac birds all the way out to CIS. Beta Red have gone above and beyond, but there's no way out for them. They just bought us our window. Now give me the go and let's finish the job. God help us. Go hot. Majestic. Copy, Alpha. Requesting go for shoot. Affirmative. We are go on the shoot. Over. Acknowledged. Shoot is a go. Out. Six rounds. Target number Kilo Tango 2005. Copy, Majestic. Six rounds. Target number Kilo Tango 2005. Shot. Over. Shot out. Splash over. Splash out. Rounds complete. Over. Rounds complete. Out. End of mission, Majestic. All three target vehicles neutralized. I don't even want to guess what happened below. I copy, Alpha. End of mission. All three target vehicles neutralized. It's been fun. Hope we get a chance to do it again. Out. God willing. Out. Alpha 2 0, this is Alpha 9 3. We need suppression forward. Direction 5 800, distance 200. Over. Alpha Manor 3, this is Alpha 2 We copy immediate suppression forward. Direction 5 800, distance 200. Stand by. Alpha 2 0, this is Alpha Manor 3. Adjust fire laser grid. Over. One enemy vehicle and a heavy team in the open. Over. Message to observer Alpha, high explosive. Six rounds. Target number Kilo Tango 2005. Over. I copy Alpha. Six rounds. Target number Kilo Tango 2005. Out. Right 50 at 150. Over. Shot 50. Fire for effect. Over. Estimate two enemy dismount casualties and one vehicle neutralized. Over. I copy. Estimate two enemy dismount casualties and one vehicle neutralized. Out. Alpha Niner 3, this is Alpha 20, firing FTF 1 at your command. Out. Firing FTF 1, out. Gamma 5, holy crap, Buckman, you see that? See it? Felt that in my damn chest. Whoever pulled the trigger, one of those sons of bitches dead. Can't believe we just walked out of that crater. We gotta be the two luckiest bastards on this whole planet. Look, ain't got nothing to do with the Jake. Think anybody could have survived that? You mean Beta Red? 
They say Spartans never die, but I don't think anything lived through that. Damn, whole lot of real estate burning down there. Won't be much left when this is all said and done. Here we are, hightailing it to anywhere else. Doesn't seem right. Well, pretty soon won't be any place else to run to. What's next, Earth? Jake, anyone tell you you talk too damn much? All the time. What the hell else was there to do on Reach besides chase Pioneer Girls? Now there's nothing, man. Now there's nothing at all. Five out. Next are the Oni conversations. I swear you're pathological about entering places through their HVAC systems. <laughs> There's still three friendlies registering in the security system. Yeah, they got names? Kinda. Chump 1, Chump 2, and Dr. Catherine Elizabeth Halsey, PhD. Crap. You got life signs, or...? I got a bunch of noise is what I got. Then? What I don't have is her exiting through a secure checkpoint. So it may just be her badge, right? And if she's actually down there? Gotta figure she's either dead or is refusing to leave her most recent pet project. <laughs> Why? Well, tearing her narrow ass out of here. Neither am I. Either she's dead and it ain't gonna matter, or she's alive and it's gonna interfere with the op. Yeah? If she's alive, I say whoever finds her puts two in her head, tosses the body in a rigid container of thermite nades and pulls a pin. You ain't even pulling recognizable teeth out of that mess. Clean. <sighs> Harsh. We could just strap her to one of these Mike Foxtrot Delta Deltas. Sounds like we got a plan. Charlie Hotel is... For Pete's sake. What? You really love the idea that you're deep in the cloak and dagger BS, don't you? This is not a clandestine meeting, Joe. We're pulling everyone out because the planet is burning. Oh my god. If it'll help keep your mind off it, you can tell me what you got. All these new pet project. This new AI. It's a generational leap. I'm not even sure that's strong enough language. So it's a pretty big deal, huh? Any idea who the donor was? Just showed up one day, a couple of months after one of the annexes in the Omega Wing was quarantined. Is that cloak and dagger enough for you? <laughs> and typical of her work ethic, she's given the total access to everything. It can buy locate as well. What do you mean? It can be in multiple places at the same time. Maybe multi-locate would be a more accurate term. Like a Waldo? What use is... No, as a duplicate, capable of independent action. I've never seen it work in concert with itself, so I'm not sure if there's some technical issue with that, or... So maybe a safety issue, or just you never saw it happen? Technical issue. Something that would make doing it impossible. A safety issue wouldn't stop Halsey. Yeah, I guess not. You know what? Let's get the hell out of here. Isn't that what we were doing? Sure, let's just keep moving. And then we have the standalone conversations. Charlie Alpha Alpha, just let the wake dissipate. We ain't much longer. They're gonna burn us right into the ground. Then make him work for it. But you push into that wash and it's guaranteed suicide. At this rate, we'll be lucky if we even get half of our people back to the inner colonies. Delta Romeo 230, you're clear all the way out to Superior Jump. Suggest you get your bearings and then go dark until you're 1,500 kilos out. Charlie Alpha Alpha, taxi to runway 22, hold short. Roger, taxi to runway 22. Charlie Alpha Alpha, you are cleared for takeoff. Roger, cleared for takeoff. We're not even going to get 2% of the population off of this rock. That's pretty bleak. I've got a pretty good idea how this is going to end, but I'm going out on my terms, not theirs. Charlie Alpha Alpha, you're clear all the way out. Go dark and fly visual until you are 1,500 kilos from Superior Tower. Godspeed. I need to know where to send these people to. You yelling in my ear isn't helping me find solutions any faster. The evac stations in Manassas and New Estragon are no longer responding. They haven't been for... I'm doing what I can here. The closest evac station to you is... Crap. What? Never mind. I'm looking for another one. Just, if you can, get your people into whatever vehicles you have over there and... What are you talking about? Whoa, what was... That was a shockwave. Look, you should load all of your people up and just start heading west as fast as you can. I'll keep looking for a... This isn't a portable unit. I don't have any way to get back in contact with you. Look, I'm sending this over the IMS. It's the number to my personal chatter. Call me when you get everyone moving. Oh, God, thank you. Don't thank me yet. I still need to find you a way off this rock. Thank you, thank you.
a tricky someone. I believe your older brothers are hitting the bottle again. Who's that? He broke my cousin's radio and pulled the phone out of the wall. You know, I've been saying this for more than a year now. He's going to take the dear old dad out of his own home again and slap together another food pass in the backyard. Damn it. He's been spending so much time at the docks. It just seemed like the perfect time for trips and treats. Well, I hope your cousin isn't going to be too disappointed. But I have a sinking suspicion that Halloween may have to be postponed. Yeah, just so long as we don't have to cancel Christmas. Blue Delta, this is Dragon X-Ray. We are on the ground and three mics out from the objective. Over. Dragon X-Ray, be advised that you are the only UNSC ground asset in that grid. Over. Say again, Blue Delta, we've got movement due east. That should be strike red. Over. That's a negative, Dragon X-Ray. I say again, be advised you are the only UNSC asset in that area. Roger, Blue Delta. We're picking up that movement again due east. You got something to soften it up? You got a location, Dragon X-Ray? Grid as follows. Whiskey, Delta, 15741712. Over. Roger, I copy. Whiskey, Delta, 15741712. That's correct. Request immediate support from any assets on station. Dragon X-Ray, looks like all I've got available at this time is the UNSC Aegis Fate. Blue Delta, is the Aegis Fate Wet Navy? Negative, Dragon. She's an exo asset, a frigate. Blue Delta, we ain't that desperate for help. Understood, Dragon X-Ray. Give him hell out there and good luck. Ow. So, uh... Come on, spit it out. You, uh, got a zombie plan? Hell yeah. Yeah? Maybe we could exchange notes. Well, I, I don't know, man. Zombie plans are a kind of deeply personal thing with me. Well, I understand. It's just, I found that saying them out loud, you know, getting them out in the open really helps reveal any flaws they might have. That makes sense. Okay. Alright. So zombies can still hear and stuff. So that makes guns a weapon of last resort, right? Yeah, yeah. Solid so far. Ammo, too. Exactly. So I was thinking that what is a weapon that'll keep them out of grabbing range and won't run out of ammo? A spear. Well, hold up. Now, see, this is working already. Huh? Spear. I thought so, too, at one time, but the possibility of getting it stuck in the brain pan of a walking corpse is very real. Oh, yeah, you're right. Man, I never thought about that. Well, uh... Ball peen hammer. But you'd have to get right up on top of the zombie to use it, man. Yeah, survival ain't about running around killing zombies, man. Plus, a single sharp blow to the head will drop most zombies. We'll work on cheetahs, too. What the? There ain't cheetahs on reach. Anyway, we should probably be working the kinks out of our alien invasion plan first. Aliens are smarter, faster, and more technically advanced than zombies. They're also here. Zombies? Not so much. What I tell you, Reach ain't no place for no self-respect or Marine to spend any amount of time. Hey, we ain't in the autumn yet, pal. Do you think the army's showing up and Torpah is connected to the Visegrad hub going down? Well, Newsfeed said it was insurrectionists. But uh, if you're looking to make a statement, why hit a remote place like Visegrad? Do you think it was UNSC goons? Like, maybe they found out the URF was running a pirate station out of the Visegrad hub? If that was the case, why blame the outage on any success? Why not apologize for a temporary outage and play up the futility of resistance? So, what do you think it is then? If it ain't the Innies and the UNSC is spinning it... Oh, brother, don't even say it. I'm just saying we should be prepared for the worst is all. We should... So you think the next logical step here is Covenant Invasion? Those guys blow up planets, not shut down local carrier hubs. Visegrad isn't just a local carrier hub, though. It's one of the three hubs that connects the northern off field with the main comm hub down south, and thus the rest of the colonies. Okay. I'm saying this is either a very ballsy and strategically sound move on the Innies part, and we are in the middle of coup d'etat. Or... Or the Covenant is here and it's already too late. Just who in the hell made this thing, Lieutenant? Huh? Who? Knowing who made it doesn't help us, Rivas. We gotta figure out how they made it, and how it works. Well, not us-us, right? <laughs> yeah, Primo. Probably not us-us. Even if we box everything up in this place, hell, if we drove the whole damn thing back to Earth... I never figured you for a pessimist, Rivas. Money and time. That's all it'll take. Money and time. Money we got, but time is something we can't count on. Oh yeah, and, and brains might help too. Don't worry, we got the brain power. 
You figure the Oni eggheads are going to be able to figure this all out? Any quick enough for it to matter? They gotta. If they can't, well, yeah, we're kind of screwed. <laughs> I'm the pessimist. Well, cousins, the gig is finally up. As an indication of how serious this is, I'm broadcasting to you over an open, unencrypted channel. When I'm done, I'm going to loop it and split. There's no sense sticking around here yapping any longer than is necessary. I saw a for sale sign go up in the front yard of your dad's place, but your older brother didn't put it there. Some out-of-towners might have. What you've got to look forward to now is nothing less than absolute destruction. These folks don't do things by half measures. They aim to kill us all, burn our cities, and leave reach as one more burnt-out rock spinning in the darkness. And they're going to do it, too. Nothing that you and me can do to stop them. They've done it plenty of times before. They've bloodied our noses at Harvest, at Madrigal, at Merdiam, but this time it's going to cost them. This time they're going to jerk back a bloody stump. There's no two ways about this. It's going to be a nightmare. The heavens are going to burn and the ground is going to tremble beneath our feet. They're going to rain death and destruction down on our heads, but we're not going to give up a single damn inch of dirt without a fight. And they're going to get their full measure of nightmare too. And when I see them, I'm going to tell them, Welcome to the nightmare, you sons of bitches. Welcome to Reach. And that covers the Reach radio conversations. They're definitely up there as some of my favorite Halo Easter eggs, and I'd love to see something like these return again, not too dissimilar to Halo 5's audio logs. Though hopefully not at the expense of other collectibles like terminals and whatnot. Anyway, let me know what you thought of these radio conversations in the comments below. Thanks again to CIA for his help, and thank you to halo.bungie.org for archiving much of the conversations on their site. That's all for now, but until next time, this has been Halo Cannon. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing, and if you really love me, hit that notification bell and leave a thumbs up. These both really help out the channel. I wouldn't be where I am now without your views and support, so once again, thank you. Keep on being awesome, Canaanites.